My name is Layla with Little STEM Academy. In today's experiment, we're gonna be becoming artistic engineers. Artistic engineering is using creativity to make cool things using science and building. It's creating something imaginative, but also making it functional, like a ghost sculpture that lights up, which correlates to our topic of the week, electricity. Did you know Leonardo da Vinci is often referred to as an artistic engineer because he excelled in both fields. He's known for his famous paintings like the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, but he also invented cool things like flying machines, a diving suit, and even a tank. He loved finding clever solutions to all sorts of problems. So in today's experiment, we're using LED lights that don't include flame because safety comes first. It's always a great time to educate your children about fire safety and fire prevention, especially during the holidays. There are lots of things that they can get their little hands into, from Christmas lights to actually candles burning in your home. It's very important that you talk to your children about fire safety. And Alicia Carter has done that. She has created a book called Spark the No-No Flame. Now, it sounds like a very good thing. However, this mother actually lost her son in a house fire, and now she's dedicated her mission to educating other mothers about how they can keep their little ones safe with her book, Spark the No-No Flame. So if you want your student to know, your child to know about the no-nos to prevent fires in your home, make sure you get a copy. In this experiment, we're making light up ghosts. These are great for decorations. You can put them on your mantle. You can use them as a lantern and place them outside your homes. And they're just cute little activities outside from Halloween time that you can do with your kids at home as well. Lyndon is gonna be my little helper today. Are you excited? Yeah. So for materials for this experiment, we're gonna be using air dry clay, um, flameless LED candles, water-based markers, a straw, a rolling pin, and you can use anything with a rounded top. I have a little sunscreen bottle here and I've used Play-Doh on top just to sculpt our ghosts. Okay, Lyndon. So step one, we're gonna roll our clay into a ball. Go ahead. All done? All right. You can also use a flat surface like this to perfect your ball. The smoother it is, the smoother your ghost will turn out. Otherwise, in air dry clay, sometimes we get little cracks. So once your ball looks roughly like this, we're gonna get ready to um, roll it with the pin. That's like making pizza. It's like making pizza? Mm -hmm. You want me to help you? I got it. <laughs> wow, you're really making a pizza now, huh? Encouraging your kids to use a rolling pin also helps their motor skills. So now that we have our flat surface ready to go, we're gonna use a water-based marker and you can also use water-based paints, whatever you think. And we're gonna use this gently on the clay so that if we press in too hard, we're gonna carve into it and we don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go gently with our marker and you can color on it, you can draw on it. What are you gonna make, Lyndon? Me, all right. <laughs> let's see, let's see what I look like. I'm gonna make a perfect fire truck. Oh, fire truck, that's pretty cool. Fire truck, fire, fire, fire safety. Fire safety, yeah, fire trucks are good for fire safety. What do I my name? Good job. And you want to carefully remove it from the flat surface and we're ready to mold. So we're going to use this little bottle here with a rounded top. And I like to look at it as creating four little corners. So you just want to rotate it, pinch it all around and make sure you have one, two, three, four little corners, and that makes the best ghost shape in my experience. Next, we're gonna use our straw to make little eyes for the ghost. And there you have your two little ghost eyes. All right, and now we're gonna carefully remove it. I like to 
put this upside down so it's easier. And it's still pretty moldable, so you want to be careful until it dries. And I just put it in the same shape on a flat surface. And you can just let it dry overnight. Should we show them what it looks like with a candle underneath? Good job, high five. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel and share it across the web. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can always be alerted whenever there's more STEMtastic content.